Hello friends, this video on Polymers part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Now, I have told you that polymerization reaction, there are different types of polymerization reaction. So we'll discuss two different types of polymerization reaction here. Very critical, please understand. One segment we discussed was co-polymerization reaction and ho homopolymerization reaction where if the polymerization reaction is taking place between two uh, the monomers of the same type for example in case of polythene I was calling it as homopolymerization reaction and if it is taking part um, in the reactants that are two different monomers I was calling at it as co-polymerization reaction but now we are again uh, classifying the polymerization reaction into two different types little critical here based on the actual reaction mechanism so I'll write here it is based on the reaction mechanism okay. we will go a little deep into this uh, mechanism now so in based on the reaction mechanism we classify the polymerization reaction in two parts addition or chain board polymerization or the second is condensation or step with polymerization okay in fact we have talked about the addition polymers and the condensation polymers right and the addition polymers typically will use the polymerization reaction that is addition or chain with polymerization reaction the condensation polymers will typically use the condensation or step growth polymerization reaction right one is the chain growth in both cases we are talking about the growth one is the chain growth then it happens very fast other is the step growth so we will talk about these two different kind of polymerization reaction we will start with the addition or the chain growth polymerization okay so in this case first understand for the chain growth so we have to use the same monomers or different monomers also they are add together on a large scale so this happens in the lab because of this chain the moment you think of chain think of chain reaction the nuclear reaction happens on the large scale and in this case the typical monomers we used are unsaturated that is the precondition this is typically used for unsaturated monomers okay and this chain growth actually there are two types one is the free radical and the other is the ionic species this free radical is more common and we will discuss the free radical uh, mode of addition or chain growth polymerization reaction as the name for this chain growth, it involves chain reaction. Okay, and the, as I told, chain reaction. So chain reaction it will be rapid growth, rapidly it grow. Once you initiate the reaction, so once the initiation happens, it's a rapid growth. Okay, but in this case, one monomer will not react directly with another monomer. But this monomer will react with something first to become an active monomer. So first, one of the monomer will react with some catalyst to become active monomer. Okay. So once we have the active monomer, then this active monomer will react with another monomer and then it will form big product. Right? Please note, monomer plus monomer directly it won't react. Monomer plus monomer will not react directly. For example, ethylene plus ethylene directly it won't react. We will show you the reaction. We write ethylene plus ethylene gives polythene that's in the bird eye view level but actually if you go try to understand the reaction mechanism the two ethene molecules will not react directly 
there is no point, there is no driving force for them to react. Right? There is something uh, we form an activity theme and then that activity theme will react. Okay? So, we will we'll start with the reaction mechanism for this. So, let's talk about the free radical reaction mechanism. Then let's do this in this uh, slide. This is the free radical polymerization that is the, I'm talking about the part of addition or chain reaction. Right? This is also addition or chain reaction. Okay. So it has three stages. In the first stage, my chain will initiate. That we call chain initiation. In the second step, the chain will propagate. So it will call chain pro in third step, chain will terminate and reward chain termination. Okay, so let's start with the first step chain initiation. So I have a monomer, and this monomer becomes an active monomer. That is chain initiation. Okay, this is a monomer, any monomer, and then becomes active monomer. That is chain initiation. The next is chain propagation. Chain propagation, once I have active monomer, this will react with the uh, Something so let's say we react with B dash B or B1, some other compound, it will form something else, it will form, let's say, B1 star. This B1 star again react with some B2, it will form B2 star, it's all active, right. Let's suppose some Bn minus 1 star will react with Bn to form Bn star. All chain is propagating. This is the it's a massive explosion here, actually. Okay. So once you have a lot of uh, chains, it has to stop somewhere. The reactants are less little top. So these Bn star will actually become Bn. Here the chain will stop. Okay. So we have some thing which initiate the reaction and typically we use benzoyl peroxide here. For starting the reaction or acetyl peroxide, tetrabutyl peroxide. They also use the benzoyl peroxide is the most desired one. Okay, so let's see this reaction. So let's see the benzoyl peroxide. So as I told, chain initiation step was done by, I am doing the chain initiation step now. Benzoyl peroxide, so I will take a benzoyl peroxide here. We have seen this uh, benzoyl peroxide a lot in the organic chemistry. This bond, actually O bond breaks. This bond breaks, both of these oxygen get uh, the lone pair of electrons. So with this, what you do this, this. Okay. Two of these molecules. And each of these will have this. This carbon dioxide will come out of these because it's not stable. So this carbon bond will again split. Right. But I can see actually this electron moves here and comes a bond, this bond splits. You can write in any way. Your wish. Okay, and C. Or let me write C6H5 because I have an hydrogen less molecule, so this is a better representation. This is called phenyl radical. Open another chain initiation step now. I have got this phenyl radical, and this is active. 
Okay, so this vinyl radical actually will react with one ethene. I'm talking about the ethene to polyethene reaction. So I'll get C six H five CH two CH. And this is what I'm talking about. One active site. This is active. Okay. Now let's talk about the chain propagation steps. Right? This chain propagation. And this is what will happen. This active group, whatever we form, it will react with another ethene molecules. So I have C6H5, CH2, CH2 dot. This will react with another ethene molecules. This bond will break. This reaction will be formed in this part. So, what we get is six H five C H two C H two C H two. So, if you want to understand the reaction mechanism in deep, please watch my organic videos where we have talked about how these free radical reaction take place. And this step will continue actually. Every time you see there is addition of C H two. Okay, so the same. Thing will continue to react with another CH2. So we form like this. CH5, CH2, CH2 is going to become 2 now. Again, we add one more ethene. Okay? It will react like this so many times. And finally, it will form a separate H2. N number of CH2 molecules are added. Okay, so this is my chain propagation step. Okay, now the chain has to terminate. So I'll talk about the chain termination step. So in the chain termination step, you see this free radical will form a final compound. This is the termination step. So in termination step, what we are doing, whatever we have formed here, this particular compound. This again will react with one more of these. Because like this, this same reaction will happen a lot of things, right? These two will react actually. And we form the final C6H5. Then CH2, CH2, some number of times. And plus, let's suppose, then. In this case, and then it will be 6, 6. So you see, n plus n plus n, I can write as k, some k. You see, this is my final product. And there is polythene. So I am using benzoyl peroxide. This is the polythene. So if you see here, I had chain initiation step where I get this active molecule, then I have chain propagation step. Where the chain propagates and form a bigger chain, chain termination step, two of these kind of chain combines to form the final product. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.